We are traveling with Razia Jean, from her home in Kabul city to the little village of Day Subs on the edge of Kabul province. She's taking us to the girls' school she started here. The day before we were opening the school, some men came inside and said, please make it into a boys' school because the boys are the backbone of Afghanistan and they need this help. And I said, well, you know that the women are eyesight of Afghanistan. And I said, unfortunately, you all are blind. Hi, Mimi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. And in a village where all the women wear burqas, Razia stands out. I'm finding mostly for standing up for the girls. In a meeting with teachers, Razia tells them to make sure the youngest students quickly learn to write their father's names. Something as small as this can go a long way in making families feel proud and change men's attitudes about educating their daughters. My name is Zakia, my father's name is Before the first week of school is finished, that's exactly what first graders know how to do. The village elders come for meetings throughout the year. The religious leaders are here, the mayor. Most of the men in this room send their daughters here, which is an important message to the whole community that this school matters. Still, by the way most of them avoid eye contact with Razia, it's clear they're not used to a woman being in charge. And their heads were down because my head was way up high because I wanted to look in their eyes and say that you have to make a change. Razia has a special relationship with the school's oldest students. She tells them that studying is not a sin and that no one has the right to prevent them from being here. This is the class of 2015, the very first graduating class from the very first girls' school in the village of Day Subs, Afghanistan. I think we are servers. We all have to give to make somebody else feel better. And I think uh, that's what I did, and which uh, makes me very proud and happy. And, <laughs> and now it's um, amazing that what came out of this, uh, a beautiful school, and, and I'm so proud of these girls that are there for the past seven years and, and getting education and, and thriving, literally. Uh, I mean, that is my joy that I cannot, uh, I think I can't even share with anybody because I know where they came from and I know where I came from. So that is amazing, amazing thought and amazing feeling and um, I'm so proud of these girls.